Okay, so this uh, video is going to focus on blend shape animation. So uh, what this is, is a way to take a shape, an object, and edit the way the shape looks, or at least edit the topology of it, and then um, create a variety of uh, sliders that you can then adjust to morph between the original shape and the new shape, and then keyframe that animation um, for whatever purpose. So we're going to focus on building like a little balloon type animation, have a balloon start out flat and then um, grow into a blown up balloon. So let's start off with something simple. We'll start with a basic sphere. I want to keep it simple so, um, so that we don't have to really concern ourselves with anything more than what we need to. So I'm going to start off with creating a polygon sphere. And let's move it up so it sits on the base. And I'm going to go into my side view here to make sure of that. And the first thing I want to do is make it appear to be more of a balloon shape. So we're not going to get into the details of it, but let's at least grab uh, certain parts of this. Let's go with uh, about half of the half of the um, vertices here and I'm going to try going hit B to go into um, soft select mode like about halfway and you can see here as I move it up it starts to stretch the bottom of it out uh, let's go ahead see how high we can go with this before it stops looking like a balloon <laughs> uh, Actually, that's not too bad, but let me double click over here on this Move Tool button, bring up the Soft Select, and I'm going to reduce the uh, radius here just a little bit. I'm going to try 4, move that up a little bit more, and then I'll probably expand this out a little bit. So to try to get something that looks <clears throat> looks similar to this. It doesn't have to be exact. The, the real idea here is to uh, to get the overall understanding of how this morphing process works. So I'm going to go back to side view, make sure it's sitting on the ground. Alright, so this is going to be the um, target of what we want the balloon to end up looking like. Um, let's now create a blend shape. So we can go up here to Windows, Animation Editors, and choose the Shape Editor. This brings up a window, and oops, I didn't mean to dock that. Let me pull that off of there. What we want to do is start off by creating a blend shape. So there's a button here. Let's create blend shape. Go ahead and click that. We can right click right on the name and choose rename and we'll create this the balloon. So what I want to do is this is going to be the main key um, target here. But let's create a, a new target which is where I want to put it when it begins. So I'm going to click add target and you can see that this one has an edit button and it is red. That means that we can now edit this shape. So I'm going to go into vertex mode. Now I've got to be in vertex mode to make this um, do exactly what I want. Otherwise it, if you're in um, some other mode such as just an object mode for instance it's not going to work correctly. So let's go ahead and pull this down a little bit and we'll go with a I'm just going to go to scaling tools here. I'm going to try to scale this out to get it close to what I want this to look like at a certain point. Let's say halfway through the uh, the blow up process. So I'm going to right click on the name here and rename that to blow up. I'll say mid. And I'm going to deselect the edit button. And if you look at this, now if we scroll, you'll see <coughs> it morphs from the midpoint to the top part. Let's try one more. We'll create another add target. 
And for this one, I'm going to have it going all the way to the ground. So we're going to flatten it out. And I'm going to grab more of these, get it down as far to the bottom as I can without pushing it to the very through the floor. <laughs> so let's go a little higher. And I'm probably going to have to bring up the soft selection here and reduce it down a little bit. And I'm just, you know, I have my soft select radius turned on to 2.35, and I'm just selecting bits of the mesh. I could probably, yeah, now I can, I'm getting low enough, I can start reducing this down a little bit more. And it's falling down under the ground, but we can change that here in a minute. Okay, let's just say that's good right there. Now I can change this, rename this to blow up start, deselect the edit button, and let's see what that does. That takes us from there to there, and then this one takes us from there to there. All right. Let's go in the perspective view. Let's see what that looks like. It's not quite as flat as it would like to be, but at least we can kind of see what that's doing there. So what we can do now is we can keyframe this. So, but let's let's do one more thing here. Let's blow it all the way up to the top. And I'm going to create one more, just to show you one more way of doing this. So let's go to um, Mesh Tools, and we're going to go to Sculpting Tools, and the Option Box. And what this allows us to do is create, and I think my brush size is set a little high. I'm going to hold B here and see if I can get the brush size. There we go undo that. I'm going to hold B and reduce my brush size down. So what this does is it allows me to click and drag to create something else. It sculpts the mesh, as you can see. It's a little too much right there. So I'm going to bring the strength down to about 2. <laughs> That's better. So this balloon is going to have a final output. <laughs> Looks a little bit like this. Oh, and I forgot to, let me get that back. I need to add target first. It's on edit. Go ahead and poke it out like that. And then I'm going to rename that one to blob. Undo the edit. And now you can see that even just the sculpt tool allows you to create something that's animatable. So let's bring it all the way down. And let's start keyframing this across the timeline. So I'm going to go frame one. We have keyframes right over here. So I'm going to click, click, and click to highlight those. Then I'm going to move it outward. Let's say it's going to take approximately, I'll go with a, let's say three seconds. So three seconds. We're running this at, um, oh, let's change this again. Let's change this to 30 frames per second. Set this to one. One, so three seconds at 30 frames per second. Let's just do it'd be 90 frames total. So let's just do 100 frames. Gives us a little bit of leeway. And I'm gonna redo because I um, let's redo this. So on frame one, we'll go ahead and keyframe these in. Um, I'm going to bring it out here to about one second. And we'll show where we want this to be at one second. So we want the blow up start. We'll key that. And let's begin the blow up mid as well. So let's go ahead and key that in, and let's key the blob as still being at zero. 
then we'll move out to 60 and let's say we'll finish up the mid all the way to the top and we want to key everything else to be where it is so it doesn't change anything and let's say we wait just a, f a little bit of a delay here and I'm going to key everything to stay at that spot and then go to frame 90 and I'm going to let the blob pop out over just a 10 frame period, so a third of a second. And then we'll keyframe everything else. And we'll go all the way to the end and just leave it there. All right, so let's see what happens here. What does this look like when we play it back? And there you go. There's the animation. So um, what we can do is run this out as a play blast file and then we'll take it into After Effects here in the next video and place some sound effects to it so it um, so it sounds a little bit more like it looks and then we can render it out as a movie file. So for now what I'm going to do is let you um, do the play blast. There was a video on that um, from last week about how to play, how to send a play blast. So you do that and uh, I'll meet you back here at the next video using After Effects.